What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to learn Power BI, uh, which is to pull data from a website that you're interested in. Uh, in my case, I'm an NBA fan and the NBA season is about to end. So I wanted to pull advanced stats or the stats that I care about or like and put them all in one view versus going through all these different websites to see the different stats and it's also a lot easier of course to see those stats in this type of dashboard all in one place as well with some nice visuals so I won't actually go over the whole uh, entire process of how I made this dashboard and I won't go over the analysis of who should be the MVP but I will show you something useful today which is how to grab the data from ESPN. The first thing we're going to do is go to the ESPN website. One of the uh, sources or one of the stats that I like is the real plus minus stat. So we're going to do that and I think this one is a good one to show because it's not all laid out in one table. You actually have 14 pages of data for all the players and I'm going to show you how to extract that and put it all into one table in Power BI without having to enter in each website, each page into the web connector. So what we're going to do is grab this link, copy, get data, web, paste that link, and I've done this already so I know it's in table one and this is the one that we want. Select table one, transform data. We'll open up the query editor and here is that second page. And what we have to do here is you can see that the first column is actually our headers. So we wanna fix that. Go to transform, use first headers or first row as headers. That will move that first row up into the header section. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna change the name of this to get RPM. We're gonna turn this into a function by going into advanced editor. Type in RPM URL equals sign greater than sign. Change this link to RPM URL. Now we have our function. So now what we're gonna do is create a table of the URL for each of those pages. I'm gonna create a table manually. I'm gonna call it RPM URL. And we're gonna copy that link in here and we're gonna actually delete that page number. Copy this and do it 14 times for the 14 pages. And then we're gonna add the page numbers at the end of this. One way to do that is to do index column from one. Now we merge these two together. actually changes to RPM URL which is what we have in our get RPM function. Um, let's actually name this table RPM stats and we're going to add or invoke a function here. We're going to name this RPM stats as well. Get RPM function and we're going to use the URL RPM URL um, column to pass through those links. Hit OK. Now we have our tables here and we will um, expand these out so you can see all the uh, stats. And we have all the players. So once you have all your data, what you always want to do is make sure all the data types are correct. So the rank is going to be a whole number These are your text types. And it looks like one more whole number type here. And it looks like uh, the rest are going to be decimal here. And that is pretty much it for 
uh, the real plus minus stats from ESPN. Go ahead and close and apply. Right, so that's finished. Yep, now we got our stats. Let's create a simple table here, show you that it works. And we got our stats. And we can sort Steph Curry at the top with 7.24 for his uh, real plus minus. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I added a link to this completed dashboard in the description. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Play around with this dashboard. Let me know what you think of it. If you need help with Power BI, I'd be glad to help. Message me on LinkedIn or drop a comment. I would love to connect with everyone on here. But that's it for me. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.